Howdy there once again, YouTube. My name is Ben Ferriolo, and I have something very quick to share with you. I thought this was an earthquake swarm. Again, we're on isthisthingon.org. I thought this was an earthquake swarm right around the 2000 mark, but we go back. It's not showing on any surrounding stations at all, but there is one lonely earthquake right down here. Right there, it doesn't look like much. It doesn't look that strong because it's not really shown that well on surrounding stations, but that's not what I want to talk about today. I just want to let you guys know, and here we are at YNM at the Norris Museum, right next to Steamboat Geyser, and look at that. I thought Steamboat erupted up here, but it didn't look like an eruption at all on these seismogram and spectrogram plots. Down here, this definitely is an eruption. Very, very small. Let's go over to my website, monitorsize.weewee.com, Steamboat Geyser, and you can find this page under the Seismic Events drop-down menu at Steamboat Geyser 2019. Remember, again, if you want to see all of the plots for every single Steamboat Geyser eruption since it reactivated in early 2018, come to these two pages right here. And I just added the plots to the new Steamboat Eruption, which happened today. Let's scroll down. And yes, it did erupt. The third eruption of 2019, which is also the 35th eruption since it reactivated in early 2018. Again, this is the third eruption of 2019. It occurred at about 1932 UTC, January 25th, 2019, which is also 1232 p.m. Mountain Time, same date. Check it out. About 4,000 to 5,000 amplitude count. This was the weakest steamboat geyser eruption since it reactivated in early 2018. Yes, this is the weakest steamboat eruption, guys. You can even see that on the spectrogram. Frequencies are a little bit lower than what we have seen before. Usually before the dominant frequencies have remained between 30 hertz and 40 hertz. This one actually had dominant frequencies between about 15 to 23 hertz, which I thought was very interesting. So the frequency, excuse me, sorry. Sorry, frequencies were a little bit lower, but it is very weak, guys. This is, and each eruption, about the past eight or nine eruptions have been incrementally smaller and smaller and smaller. So is Steamboat Geyser in the Norris Geyser Basin, is it dying or is it just stabilizing to erupt at this current level? I don't know. And here is YNM, again, the helicorder plot. You can see the Steamboat eruption right down there. Let's scroll down, and here's the last eruption, the second eruption of 2019, which occurred on January uh, January 16th, sorry, 2019. And notice how it is a little bit bigger. And then here's the first eruption of 2019, going to about 7,000 amplitude count. And if you look at the previous eruptions for Steamboat Geyser 2018 on my website, you will know that... These eruptions are getting smaller, guys. You could tell by the amplitude count on the left of the seismogram plot. You can compare. Again, this one goes to about 5,000 amplitude count, but we do officially have the third eruption of 2019 for Steamboat Geyser, which occurred at 1932 UTC. Well, guys, I'm off. I got to do uh, some things today, and I am finishing my new seismic events page. Should be up in about four days or so. Um, it's going to be about the rapid fire swarms at Yellowstone that occur in and around West Thumb Lake. So it's going to be very interesting. I already have hundreds of plots ready to go and upload to this website. I will put out a video when I do that. So I hope you guys all have a great day. Steamboat guys are erupted again. Besides that, Yellowstone is virtually calm today. But remember, that can change in the blink of an eye. So just keep an eye on Yellowstone, guys. Have a great day.